creating a document with multiple columns is very easy in Microsoft Word. Simply go to the Page Layout tab and from the Page Setup section click Columns and we can select the number of columns that you'd like to use. Let's select three. But what if you'd like to use columns with different length? Here's how Microsoft Word will fill the three columns in your document if you simply start typing. I will paste the Laureate Ipsum text and as you can see here Word starts from the leftmost column then continues with the middle column and then the right column. But what if you'd like to have less text in the first column, more text in the second column and different text, different length text in the third column. Simply go to the page layout tab once again, the page setup section breaks and from the page breaks section click on column and as you can see here now Word has moved the text to the to the middle column to the next column and we can repeat the same. Now let's there's one paragraph in our left column, two paragraphs in our second column, the middle column, and let's move the rest of the text to the third column. And as you can see now there is one paragraph in our third in our first column, two paragraphs of text in our second column, our middle column, and three paragraphs four paragraphs of text in the right column, our third column. As you can see it's very easy to create columns of different length from the page setup section, the page layout tab breaks, page breaks, select column to move the text that you like to move to the next column. Let's do this one more time Let's create a blank document, page layout, three columns, let's call this case one, blah blah blah, some text. And now let's move breaks, case two, and let's insert another column break case 3 and as you can see we have created three columns but we can set each column's length ourselves we don't really have to rely on Word as I have shown you previously Word will start from the left column move to the middle column and then the rest of the text to the right column and the same of course applies if you use one, one smaller left column and one bigger right column. As you can see here, this is our left column, it's much smaller than our right column. But if you'd like to move some text to the right column from the breaks section, column break, perhaps we would like to to include a summary in our left column or a tip and then move the main text to a right column, once again breaks column and as you can see now, this is our main text and our, on our right column and on our left column we have th the summary or a tip or something that would like to draw our viewers attention anything like that. That's it. If you have any questions let me know.